Agustín Cabrera and his wife Romina couldn't wait for the birth of their first child, a boy. But when Romina went into labor, everything went wrong. Eight hours after the child was born, he died of asphyxiation, and his mother barely survived. The couple blames their child's death on the hospital's lack of resources to deal with medical emergencies, ultimately because funds are siphoned off by corruption. Romina is still in hospital, where patients have to provide their own medicine, syringes, and even water. We are willing to do what it takes to see that justice is served. This can't stay in impunity. They can't get away with this, because my son had the right to live. Nearby, we find an elementary school that is so underfunded that there are no classrooms for the older children. They study outdoors, where the smaller students play. Paraguay is widely known as one of the most corrupt countries in Latin America, a country with impressive wealth, but in the hands of only very few with political power. In January, the U.S. imposed new sanctions against former President Horacio Cartes for, quote, involvement in significant corruption, after U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken accused him of links to drug trafficking and terrorist organizations. Cartes denies the charges, but in Paraguay, they haven't come as a surprise. No, no, people are not surprised because the, the common sort of response has been uh, we knew it all the time, except uh, we didn't want to, you know, the, 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 the Attorney General didn't react, uh, uh, the judiciary was quiet, the police didn't do anything. It's in this inner city slum, children play in the mud alongside pigs. The small community moved here a few months ago when their neighborhood was flooded. The families who live here have had to build these shacks with their own hands. As in so many parts of Paraguay here, the absence of the state is obvious everywhere you look, except during election time when candidates like this one come calling to ask for people's votes. 65-year-old Eliana says they've always been poor and abandoned by politicians and that Sunday's elections won't change anything. They always buy our votes. They give you money. That's why no one elects someone who will improve things. That's all I can say. It's a vicious circle, made easier by resignation. A belief that decades of corruption is just another cross that those who suffer the most from it simply have to bear. Lucia Newman, Al Jazeera, Asuncion, Paraguay.